Welcome to the narrowboat that James built. I hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Well, as many people commented, I think this morning is going to be my opportunity before it snows um, to get this stove in, which means clearing the roof a little bit, getting on there, and putting in the flue. So, uh, yeah, there's a bit of blue sky, but there's also some kind of darkish grey clouds. Let's crack on. So, I'm using a plumber's line. Although technically it's the cord from my sleeping bag bag with a screwdriver side at the end but it's giving me the right line it's bang in the middle looks about right wait for it to stop moving a bit and then the plan will be to drill a pilot hole through there right what i want to do is cover up the fireplace first or the stove so that's that done right there's the hole done Oh, it's achy on the arms, that is. And then I need to mark that out there and cut away some of that batten there and possibly some of that batten there, just to be safe. Okay, so I'm up here on the roof and there's only a couple of things I need. So I've got a jigsaw with a uh, T218A blade on it, which is uh, the kind of sm small metal work one. So it should be able to cut, cut a curve. And I need the collar, so I've got that. Those are the only two bits of kit I need. The only thing else I need is the hole, and I cannot find it. That's not it. I just can't find it at all. I know roughly where it should be. It's like one of those things, I just don't know. I obviously know what it should look like, but I just can't seem to get my eye in. Ah, hang on. Is that it? That's it. That's it, excellent, okay, located. Let's put the collar in place. So I'll measure, I'll measure that up now but it, there really isn't much tolerance because look, I've got this bar right there. So that is pretty close. It will fit in. One concern I've got is how easy it is going to get, how hard it is to get the jigsaw around this area here, so close to here. So I'm going to have to just give that a go. I'm just going to go around now and do a lot of kind of pilot holes. Reason for this, it just makes it easier for the jigsaw to get around a circle. The thing is, it's really dangerous because these gunnels are so slippery. For once, I'm actually wearing work trousers. Well, there's certainly no going back now. Right now, I need to go through with a larger drill bit just so I can get the jigsaw in. How you doing, Simon? Yeah, good, thank you, mate.
That seems to be going through okay. Wouldn't quite say a knife through butter, but it's going through. Yeah, doing it slowly because you, yeah, you, you, it's got a lot to do. It's got a, it's got a curve and get through it, but it's getting through it. Hmm? Angle grinder. That's what Paul said. Yeah. With, with, with a cutting blade. The thing is, I've never used one, yeah. and the thought of being up here with an angle grinder, to be honest with you, I'm not that comfortable with. Yeah. If, if I was struggling with this, yeah, I'd go to it, yeah. but mm. this is fine. It's This is the bit I'm nervous about because I'm not sure if it's going to get round. No, it's, get, it's catching there, which means it's going to catch the hair as well. I think what I might have to do is go across here and then use a file and file down the rest. Side and push that up from the inside. Well, there we go. That's such a, uh, you know what, that's a really good cut. That's pretty thick, I think that's five mil. Maybe three mil, but that is, that's a really nice clean cut around there. Yeah, that's, that's remarkable. Obviously we need to clean up around here a bit. Look at this. I should have probably done this before I had a gaping hole in the roof. But in terms of that metal oh. rim, there's quite a bit of a distance there. though that I'm able to angle the jigsaw a bit because there's a hole there now so I'm able to get around it a bit more so I'm just seeing if I can do this and chip away at this little bit of extra
Yes, that's it. Oh, thank, <coughs> thank goodness for that. Oh, is it good? Well, that looks pretty good. Well, I didn't really know what to expect with that, but um, I'm happy with how it's uh, how it's gone in. Obviously, I need to trim some insulation around there. But uh, now this is the moment of truth. I don't know if it's going to fit through even this week. To be honest, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the angle. Right, obviously it hasn't got the bracket on the stove. Oh yes, I'm well happy with that. That looks superb. And now it's in, it doesn't look as close to the walls as I thought it was going to. Uh, I don't know if that sounds a bit odd. And it has completely, I mean, it's not even in yet. It's literally just sitting there. Still got all the, all the foil around it. But that, that is a, uh, yeah, transformational. To be honest, I'm just glad it lines up. It's really changed the feel of the place having the uh, the flu in, even though it's only got, you know, it's not in and it's not, it's still got its uh, cling film wrapper on it. It's just great because it's a big lump of steel hanging down from the ceiling, which is what you see on every single narrow boat. It's the main thing about a narrow boat really is the stove. And having the stove, to be honest, is not the thing. It's, 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 it's that that you see everywhere. It's the flu. It's great. And to be honest, from here, from the galley, it doesn't obscure the view at all. I was wondering if it can be too much in. It's not. It doesn't block my line of sight to the window, so that's really good. It f seems to fit that space quite nicely. Uh, once I've got the lights in, I can imagine that working out quite well spatially with the windows and everything. But yeah, great. I'm just delighted that I've finished it. Well, I finished the bit on the roof, the bit I wasn't particularly looking forward to um, and didn't know how it was gonna end up. Seems fine, worked out all right. And there's still quite a bit of cut left in that blade, surprisingly. So those Bosch jigsaw blades are um, bloody good. Well, that's it for part one of the flu install obviously that needs to be taken back to the workshop and trimmed down a bit i need to get bolts in and sicker flex it all in position so i hope it doesn't rain tonight but um as i said i wanted to show you in detail so yeah that's part one part two tomorrow will be the other part of the install which is on the stove putting the cement in place um you got the you got to fill this gap down here uh sicker flex that in position um and then hopefully be in a position to light the stove, which, given the fact I can see my breath, will be a welcome relief. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're well. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.